Tekken 8 reveal trailer. It's obvious I'm days behind, but you know what? It's better late than ever. All right, graphics looking HD. Hold on, real time rendered footage captured from a title in development. Some content may change in the final product. Okay, so this is actual end game footage. that bicep do you see the detail dog he put ryu to shame he put ryu to shame i already see the comparison i almost see the comparison ryu do the same thing with his super kazuya came back and said nah i'm gonna flex harder dog he built all the way different bro oh God, boy. Ooh, counter hit. Electro and Godfist. All right. All right, classic combo. God, bro, look at these graphics, bro. Devil Jin? Ooh, Devil Jin? Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. I, I like how it transitioned from the chain breaking and that being actual eight. That is real legit. I like that. Bro. That is legit. Oh, I need more information, but they can't drop that two minute trailer and be like, that's it. Nah, sway. Nah, sway. I need some more information on that. What is going on? Director, I'm not even going to try and say her name because I'm, I'm not even about to butcher it like that. Dives deep into the game's first trailer, showcasing footage rendered in real time and captured from the game running on PS5. This trailer was actually taken directly from a certain part in the current work in progress Tekken 8 story mode. Played on PlayStation 5, in other words, all the characters, no, all the character models, backgrounds, and effects are the same ones that are used in game. Although this was captured from the story mode, it is not a pre rendered movie made for the trailer, but rather real time. Rendered footage running at 60 frames per second, similar to how you would experience the game in versus battle mode. And bruh, y'all could break the name up, y'all can say this, y'all can say that. I ain't saying. Of course, some of the effects dialogue as well as the camera angle is currently being updated and may change when the game launches. Bro. Bro. Look at that face. Look at that face. Look at them scars. Look at them veins. Look at the dimples. Look at the hell. Bro. Look at the background. Dog, why are they going so hard, bro? Also, if you pay attention to the background during the battle, you can see dynamic waves and tornadoes. A huge tanker can apart storm rendering so realistic that you can feel the wind pressure, the density of the rain, bro. Like, you can feel it. Hold on. Hold, hold on, bro. Hold on, we gotta watch that one Peggy more time. Bro, they must have been throwing bowls heavy before this even got made into a trailer for the background to look that destructive. So, I wonder. Okay, so in, in Tekken 7. Fight. In Tekken 7, right? You know how when the round is about to be over, they have the slow-mo? So, I wonder if they're gonna have more of these slow-mos going on as the game is going well, as the round is going on, that'd be a cooler add-on, and not just a round ender. 
Cause with this being in-game footage, like I feel like all this is real. But they they probably added in like some extra cuts just for the sake of the trailer. Bro. Clinch the ground. Double trigger. Mm -hmm. This cutscene is so godlike. This cutscene right here is so godlike, bro. Look at how they lower their guard when they hit with a big move. Nice detail. Exactly, bro. Like, I feel like Street Fighter and Tekken really gonna be what and what for Street Fighter 6 and Tekken 8, bro. Like, I really want to pay attention to what sell more. I'm pretty sure they probably won't drop around the same time, but both of these games are looking real nasty, bro. Both of these games are looking real nasty. Breaking the chains, Tekken 8. Bro, this is looking godlike. I'm also liking the Clash moment too. Mm, see, this right here is giving me them, them uh, that Naruto and Sasuke clash for the first time when Naruto came with the Rasengan and Sasuke came with the uh, Chidori and, and Curse Mark. This right here is what that's reminding me of. So this is like. This look like Dante versus Virgil. Really? Yo, so I wonder. I wonder. So you could kind of tell where the game kicks in at, right? So you know how in Mortal Kombat, there was a dialogue where each character come on the field and then they say something disrespectful, then they zoom into the actual game. And Street Fighter, each character got their intro, then the game starts. So... I wonder, this clash moment right here, this clash moment that happens, I wonder if this is their way of starting the round, like an actual intro. And then you can just tell what a game kicks into actual gameplay at. So if this is their unique way of a quote unquote intro for like, I guess certain character rivals or depending on who picked this is like Fight. real guy like I hope as they release more information like they reveal Steve. Like I want to see Steve and Tekken 8 bro. Like this is beautiful. Like this is giving real promising vibes for upcoming games on PlayStation 5. Oh, that oh, of course, of course, but I just I just want to see them actually reveal him in like Stages as the game goes on. Cause as of right now, so far they didn't reveal Jin and Kazuya. He said Jin some but for losing that exchange. Bruh. Bruh. They teased us with this. Him throwing Hey Hachi off the map, you know, old school graphics. Very slow build up. He just winded down. And then Houdini. Get ready. That's a mean transition, bro. That's a real mean transition, bro. Oh my God. I feel like, okay, so this is the trailer that they showed at Evo. And you could hear the crowd in, in the background, right? Like you, you hear the crowd, you know what I'm saying? Getting amped up. If they would have showed this trailer at Evo, this trailer right here. If they would have showed 16. this trailer at Evo, 
This would have been worldwide destruction. I'm talking about the crowd would have went completely ape. This trailer should have been shown at Evo. I, I respect the buildup, but it's like when Evo was done and you drop a trailer, like the hype should have matched. Like you should have just came boom. Like just imagine, just imagine thousands of people seeing this trailer all, all at one time. Mm -hmm. You know the crowd would have went crazy when they seen this. That right there, done deal. Then came with the classic combo, two electric wing god fists, followed with the spinner rooney. The spinner rooney hini loonies. I just noticed Jen got a new costume on. Like this isn't his default costume. It got like a new design on it. I just noticed that. They don't really have in interactions. Well, hey, Hachi's dead, right? I think. Hey, Hachi's dead. I haven't paid too much attention to the story mode, but since it's all one big family, hey, Hachi's dead, so I'm assuming the robbery just. Ah, uh, yeah, he do. Yeah. So they both coming with new default designs. But overall, man, I'm pretty psyched to say that Tekken 8 has definitely done a good job on this trailer. I still feel like this should have been shown at EVO, but like always, it's better late than never. So, of course, more updates will be coming, and Tekken 8 is looking promising. That's pretty much all I got to say. Hopefully, we get another update soon, not too long away. And, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Leave a like. Let me know what you think. But you don't have to tune out just yet. If you enjoyed this Tekken video, go ahead and check out this Tekken video where I decided to play for the first time and was using Steve Fox.